today we are making a video on Ferran OS 2023 04 edition which is a April edition and I'm running it on a VMware which is virtualization with 80 GB of hard disk 4 GB of RAM and with two processors and the Ferran OS should take like a maximum of one minute or 30 to 40 seconds 30 to 40 seconds to load up the desktop layout because that's the common uh, timing or the common duration in every Linux distro. Uh, some bad Linux takes uh, a lot of time, uh, meaning bad Linux means uh, heavy resources consuming Linux distro uh, will take a lot of time. Some of the times like a beta version, alpha version, also development version uh, will take a few seconds because that's uh, uh, okay because there's a development version so that's going to take a lot of time. Uh, we should be having our desktop layout loaded completely right now. I will be posting two videos daily without missing any day. So I made another content already. If you want to check that out, you can check that out after watching this video completely. So I think we should be having our desktop layout completely loaded. Uh, if the ISO file is working properly, you should be seeing a mouse pointer. I am seeing a mouse pointer. And uh, if the ISO file is not corrupted, you should be having your uh, Linux is loaded completely as you can see mine is loaded completely it says live session user welcome and this is the welcome screen of the Ferran OS and this is the latest version of a Ferran OS and the website is down for some reason I don't know uh, I downloaded it from uh, SourceForge usually I was downloading from the official website but uh, the official website is down for some reason I don't know why uh, here is our desktop layout. Let's uh, change the display settings first because it looks pretty odd right now And it's a KDE Plasma desktop environment. You already know Ferran OS comes with the KDE Plasma desktop environment Let me change the display setting by clicking the route, uh, right side mouse pointer My display is 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio Let's keep this configuration. If you can't see the text size or the font or the icons, you can change the global icon, uh, global size to 150% or 120%. Uh, with the 1920 into 1080, that will be best option or the best settings. Let's go to the about the system. It's a Ferran OS 2023.04, which I already mentioned. The latest version is not available uh, of the KDE Plasma. And here is the uh, version of the KDE Plasma which is a 5.25.5 the latest version is like a 5.27.5 something like that and you don't even get the KDE Frameworks version uh, latest the latest version is like a 5.105 but do you get like a 5.98 and Qt version is a 5.15 and kernel version is 5.15 uh, you get here and the latest version is 6.3 which was released like a three days back and here is my hardware I'm running it on a VMware so it says a uh, VMware so let me close this thing and open the system monitor because we need to see how much resources are consumed uh, before and after the I'm going to open the system monitor at the end of the video again so you should be having uh, an idea or you can judge on your own by seeing the resources right now it's almost a 1.4 GB of a 4 GB of RAM and a CPU is going around like a, under 30% which is uh, good and some of the information is available right here so let's go to the history and see the cpu graph i ignore the uh, beginning of the high peak here because it's pretty common uh, in a linux distro uh, at the opening of the system monitor you will see a high peak and you should run it like uh, 60 seconds you should be seeing a graph of uh, uh, if it's going stable then the ISO or the Linux distro is good if you see a high peak uh, here and there that will be uh, bad because that's uh, heavy resource consuming uh, Linux distro and the RAM is almost 1.4 GB which is also pretty common in KDE plasma desktop environment so let's go to the applications the CPU and RAM is also stable right now applications is nothing on the processors running right now uh, we should be having right now let's go to the tree and uh, see these are all the processors running right now and the version should be like a 5.25 of the system monitor about system monitor which is a 5.25.5 so let me close this thing and open the terminal to get some of the information 
of the distro. Console is the terminal in the KDE desktop environment, you already know that. So let's check the about console which is uh, 22.08.1. The latest version should be like a 22.12.3 like that or 3 or 13 I don't know properly. But the version should be like a 22.12. So this is also the older version. So let's close this thing and uh, let's type in the command which is inxi-sv8 which will grab every information of the uh, distro. So let's go through all this uh, information. On the system host is a uh, Ferran OS and the kernel is a uh, 5.15 and it's a 64-bit architecture compiler is not available right now and the desktop environment is a uh, KDE Plasma which is a uh, 5.25.5 Qt version is a uh, 5.15.6 Light DM version is a uh, 1.30.0 a uh, distro is a uh, Ferran OS 20.04 which is a uh, 2023.04 and here is my uh, RAM which is almost a 1 GB of RAM of uh, 3.80 which is 4 GB of RAM here is my CPU if you want to go through my CPU you can go through this information and uh, let me scroll through some of the information VMW GFX version is 2.19.0 and uh, let's uh, scroll down to get some of the information MESA is 21.2.6 and OpenGL version is a uh, 4.1 so let's scroll it down slowly and uh, some of the information is like a 80 GB of hard disk which I choose 80 GB of hard disk for the VMware. So let's scroll it down and find some of the information. And we have everything I guess. So INXI version is a 3.0.38 processors running right now are 295 uptime is 5 minutes init system d version is a 245 gcc is 9.4.0 and shell bash version is 5.0.17 so let's type in the few commands like a same inform you will get the same information as the above but in a short form type in inxi and let's type in another command which is inxi dash small b here is the information if you want to read it you can read it by pausing the video Let's type in another command which is inxi-g which is capital G. Here are the some of the information. Let's type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue uh, Ubuntu 20.04.6 LTS. This is the base or it is based on Ubuntu this version. So let me type in new fetch if it's available it should be new fetch is not pre-installed let's type in htop if it's uh, pre-installed htop is also not pre-installed uh, let's uh, close this thing and let me show you the official website and the downloading process uh, by opening the vivaldi web browser you don't get the falcon or a firefox or a chromium web browser you get a vivaldi web browser because that's the default web browser for ferran os so it should take a few more seconds to uh, load up the web browser because it's a chrome based uh, web browser it's taking a few more seconds i guess we don't want to import anything so let's go to the about valdi browser and check the information the version is a 6.0 here are the information if you want to go through this uh, you can pause the video and go through all this uh, information let me type in Ferran OS this is the search term you need to type in in your web browser this is the website link or the URL which is a ferranos.webly.com right now the website was down uh, down so let's hope if it's uh, on or not the website is uh, online when I was downloading the uh, ISO file, it was uh, down, so I downloaded it from SourceForge. So let's uh, click on Get FerranOS. If you want to go through information, you can go through to their website. Go to the website and uh, go through all the information. The latest version is 2023.04. Uh, this is the latest version. And the ISO file size is around 2.7 GB. You can easily download, I guess. It will take directly to the SourceForge website.
and just uh, waiting for a few seconds like a five second you should be having your downloads here is the download which is a 2.6 gb let's uh, click on save and here is the downloads i'm using a vpn so it's uh, pretty slow right now so this is the download process or the official website for the Ferran OS. Let me close this thing and let uh, let me show you the installation process. Double clicking on installer will uh, open the installer. And this is the basic uh, installation steps uh, which is pretty common in every Linux distro uh, which is a Calamaris installer 3.2.60 for the Ferran OS. First you need to choose the language. I'm going to choose American English or you can choose any other language. There are plenty of languages available. And this is the basic uh, installation style in Linux distro. There is no complicated things here. Click on next. You need to choose your partition. If you have multiple hard disk, you need to choose your hard disk here. Uh, if you want to delete the current operating system and uh, boot it in uh, uh, Ferran OS as a single boot, you need to choose the RS disk. If you want to dual boot, you go with the manual partitioning, you choose your partitions and install this. You need to be very careful while choosing these uh, options because it's going to delete everything in your uh, hard disk or SSD, whatever you choose the uh, storage drive. So if you're using it on a VMware, no need to worry. I'm using it on a VMware. So here is the bootloader location, which automatically gives the best option. If you want to do that, you can do that afterwards after the installation. It's clearly up to you to customize these things. So I'm choosing the default things. I'm choosing the LS disk as a single boot. Click on next. You will get a summary of what will happen and what you choose in the before pro installation process. So this will th this is the things will happen after you click on install. After clicking on install, it's going to take a maximum of uh, 20 minutes or minimum or uh, like a uh, five to 10 minutes. Completely depends on your PC and uh, depends on the Linux issue. So uh, after installing, it's going to be uh, booted up in. Uh, you need to reboot the system and you will be having a two operating system if you choose the manual partitioning if you choose the rs disk you should be having the single boot uh, which is a ferran os so that's the installation process let me close this thing and let's go through all the desktop features like uh, date and time and uh, some of the notifications these are the date and times and uh, notification here are the uh, notifications internet connection volume you can customize all these things let's check out the desktop features by right clicking there will be not uh, plenty of wallpapers oh we have a lot of wallpapers i don't know i don't remember in the past videos i thought uh, there should be like a few wallpapers but there are plenty of wallpapers available right here you can change anything you want this one is uh, pretty good i love the green uh, grass so I'm choosing this is a beautiful wallpaper. I love the country life. So I'm going to choose this wallpaper. There's also one another wallpaper here. This is so satisfying, bro. This is nice for there are a lot of wallpapers available right here. You can choose any wallpapers here. The folder view version should be 3.0. This is so satisfying seeing the green grass. So let's check out other features like a uh, file manager about file manager which is nemo this is a store it's going to take a few seconds to uh, load up completely the store version is 2021.02 so let's minimize this thing and uh, let's check out the pre-installed apps which comes with the ferron os so these are all the uh, apps which comes pre-installed so let me open some of the apps and check the version so vlc media player should be version like a 3.0 0.9.2 this is the version so what else we left here is uh, some of the apps like a uh, snaptic package manager and on the settings we don't have any match science and math we have a library office let me open the library office also uh, what else we left here multimedia player we saw the vlc media player also uh, web browser manager you need to uh, choose any web browser if you want other than uh, uh, valdim web browser snaptic package manager should be version like uh, 0 
this is also a older version which is 0.84.6 everything is loading uh, on top of everything so about library office which is 7.1.3.2 the latest version is like a 7.5.5.2 so this is the version available right now with the Ferran OS uh, 2023-04 edition Snaptic package manager let me drag this thing and the installed version will be highlighted with the green box and the installed version will be available right here i am going to scroll it right down uh, very fast if you want to change uh, if you want to see that in a slow speed you can change the uh, youtube settings go to youtube settings and uh, change the playback speed to 1 to uh, 0.25 the uh, number should be uh, one uh, as the default change the number to 0.25 you can see the installed version in a slow motion the installed version will be like this with a green highlighted and the installed version will be like this so let me close this thing and this is a web browser uh, manager you can install it uh, on your own like this the version is here the best browser uh, if i recommend is the brave because that's the best browser if you have a multiple uh, google accounts go with the chrome browser if you have a single account you want to be safe it's always go with the brave this is the best browser in my opinion not uh, i'm going to say not uh, the all-rounder in my opinion brave is the best browser for me so i have downloaded the brave browser in my multiple devices so let me close this thing that's that was just a tip from me uh, if you want to take it you can take it if you don't want it's clearly up to you so this is the store if you want you can download the uh, apps by clicking on install right here the version will be uh, right here 1.102.10.0 and the size of the file will be here so if you want to go through this you can go through by clicking on the apps here the installed version will be ticked right here so this is the installed version so it will be having a tick mark and launch or remove option here so i think i showed everything i guess let me open the system monitor and end the video because i showed everything there is nothing left i guess so the other apps like uh, for example maps and some of the apps there are not important you get in every uh, options uh, every linux distro so that's not important so let me open the system monitor and end the video so before it was like i guess uh, 1.4 gb i guess right now it's 1.8 gb i don't properly remember uh, if you want to get the exact numbers you just go to the beginning of the video or you can uh, just put the video side by side of uh, ferran os and you should be having uh, exact numbers of how much resources are consumed before and after the video so on the application side you just have two apps and on this history you have a good cpu and on the process processes are uh, these are the processes running right now as you can see so i think that's the end of the video i already made another video today because i will be posting two days daily if you want to check that out you can check that out after the full watching after watching uh, uh, this video again thanks for watching that's the sound from the ferran os again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out